Welcome to today's video in which we're going to look at how to find the missing angle of this quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Uh, in this quadrilateral we have two diagonals uh, intersecting at the point M. Now we also uh, given that angle uh, DAC is 35 degrees we also given that angle BAC, B for boy, is 20 degrees. And we also given that the angle DCB is 130 degrees. And lastly, we given angle ADC is 110 degrees. So the question is, uh, can you find the angle X? That is the angle CBM. Consider that the lines AM and MB are equal. Now let us go straight away to the question. Uh, first of all, we'll start by looking for angle ACD. And in this, we're going to use the property that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. If you look at that triangle ADC, we can work out the angle SED by just taking 180 degrees, subtract the sum of 110 and 35, and that gives us 35 degrees. Uh, secondly, let us look at how to find angle SEB. Angle ACB we're going to take 130, which is the total of DCB, subtract the 35 that we have just found to give us 95 degrees. Next, we're going to look at angle AMB. For AMB, again, we consider triangle AMB and say the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. We know that the base angles are 20 degrees, that is MAB and MBA. And so, we're going to do 180 degrees, subtract 20 plus 20. And that gives us 140 degrees. After that, the question then remains, what is the size of angle BMC? Now to get BMC, remember that we have found angle BMA. Angles on a straight line will always add up to 180. If BMA is 140 degrees, then we can get the angle on the other side of the line. And that is going to be 180 take away 140 degrees, which gives us 40 degrees. So. Finally, we need to find angle X. To find it, consider that triangle BMC. We have two angles, 130 and 40 degrees. So what is the third angle, which is the X we are looking for? Again, we use the property that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So we're going to do 180 degrees, take away 95 degrees plus 40 and so that gives us 180 degrees take away 135 degrees and that gives us 45 degrees that is it we have found the angle X and so we have our final answer thank you very much for watching this video Please like this video, hit the subscribe button, and share with your friends. You can drop any comments in the comment section if you have any queries. It's your teacher, the Matsurabai.